My name is Kayla from Planning with Kay, and welcome back to another one of my monthly bullet journal plan with me videos, where I sit down with my journal and my stickers and my pens, and I get organized and prepped for the upcoming month. Today, I'm going to be setting up my September bullet journal spreads, and as usual, I've chosen a new theme for this month to keep things exciting, and this month, I'm going with a frog tea party theme. As always, I've created an entire sticker collection for this theme, as well as a collection of printables. All of the stickers are available in my sticker shop, planningwithk.com, and these printables here are available as instant digital downloads that you can print at home yourself over on my $5 Patreon tier. And if you do join Patreon, you also gain access to the last six years of printables. So it's a pretty good deal for $5, I'm just saying. All of the links are in the description below, but with all of that out of the way, let's get right into my September bullet journal spreads, starting with my cover spread. So this is basically just going to be like a little title page for the month of September, a little introduction. So I use one of my quote page printables on the right. I just print these out on sticker paper, stick them right in. I'll have the link to my sticker paper in the description below. And it says a cup of tea can solve anything. I then used one of my golden frame stickers on the left. I used my favorite Ohuhu brush pen for that September header. And then I decided to use my typewriter stamps throughout this setup because I feel like this theme reminds me of like a children's book or like storybook illustrations. So I felt like the typewriter font matched that perfectly. I'm finishing this page off with some dragonflies, some sparkles and some wildflowers. And that is it for my September cover spread. Moving right along, I decided that I wanted to do some more tabs this month. If you watch my August plan with me with my Mediterranean lemon theme, then this will look a little bit familiar, but essentially I counted out all of the pages I'm going to need for the entire month. And then I cut off the right four spaces. And this means that all of my September spreads are going to share these two little decorative sidebars. And you'll see at the end of the video how I'm going to create some tabs to label each page. So I used another printable for my Patreon. I cut out two little sidebars from it and I'm sticking those in to the little Dutch door sidebars here so that that little bit of decoration peeps through all of my spreads. All right, so now I'm creating my September calendar. This is gonna be a very simple monthly setup. I really wanted to kind of go back to basics this month and instead of having a lot of monthly trackers or like monthly pages to keep track of, I really am wanting to focus on my weekly planning in September. I feel like I've been having a little bit of a hard time keeping up with my bullet journal this summer, mostly just because I've been so busy that I feel like I don't have as much like time set aside to just sit with myself and sit with my journal. So that's why I'm hoping that a simpler setup is going to make it easier to keep up with in September. So all of that being said, this monthly calendar here is going to be doing a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to my monthly planning and scheduling. Each day on this calendar takes up a box that is six spaces wide by six spaces tall. I used some number stickers as well as these little decorative framed frog stickers from the $5 frog tea party sticker kit. I used some more of those stamps for my weekly headers. And then I used that same black brush pen for my September header right at the top. Another thing about this setup is I'm not going to be using a ruler for any of my lines and instead I'm using this sort of more loose and perfect dashed style line work. Ever since I started bullet journaling seven years ago, I've always used a ruler and I have been very concerned with my lines being perfectly straight. And I found that within the last few months, I finally have broken out of that comfort zone. And I've now really been enjoying doing looser line work, not being so concerned with everything being 
perfectly straight and that feels very freeing. And let me know in the comments if you relate to that experience at all of like your bullet journal helping you to move past or let go of your perfectionist tendencies because I definitely relate to that and I think it's really fun that even after seven years, I still find that my journal is helping me to just kind of break out of certain like creative comfort zones that I have. Anyways, now that my main September calendar is finished, I'm now working on my September live stream schedule. This is just a smaller single page calendar that I use to keep track of my Patreon live streams and my public YouTube live streams that I do every single month showing how I design my stickers and set up my bullet journal spreads. I actually have a live stream coming up tomorrow right here on my YouTube channel, Sunday, August 25th at 1 p.m. Eastern time. And I'm gonna be working on my new movie theater themed sticker collection. So if you wanna hang out with me for a few hours while I work on my new sticker designs, you can join me tomorrow right here on my YouTube channel. Now on the right page, I'm creating a brain dump for September. This is a page I include every single month, which is just basically like a little catch-all notes page for anything else I need to write down throughout the month. And that is it for my September monthly spreads. So now we move on to the bread and butter of this setup, which is going to be my weekly planning pages. So what I'm going to do this month is I'm going to set up the entire month in advance. I don't always do this. Sometimes I like to set up my weekly pages as the weeks come throughout the month, week by week. But like I mentioned in the beginning, I've been struggling a bit to keep up with my journal. So this month, I really wanna focus on my weekly planning and consistently using my weekly pages. So to help me out, I'm getting everything set up in advance. So for this first week of September 2nd through 8th, I used one of my weekly spread printables from Patreon and I just used those typewriter stamps and some stickers to customize it a little bit. Now for the second week, I'm creating a layout that has seven equally sized boxes for the seven days of the week. And each box here is 11 spaces wide by 18 spaces tall. Something that I especially love about this setup this month is that because I'm setting up all of my weeklies in advance, I was able to include everything in the same Dutch door system where I have the same decorative sidebars throughout the entire month of September, and I'm gonna have tabs for all of my monthly and my weekly spreads. It just makes this whole month feel so cohesive and organized, and I really love that. So I'm finishing this weekly off with some weekly header stickers at the top of each box, using some of these little circle stickers for writing in my dates, and that is it for this simple but spacious and functional weekly spread. Moving right along, I'm setting up a third weekly, and this is gonna be a very different horizontal layout where each day of the week gets a row that is five spaces tall. This is what I love about bullet journaling, that every single week can be so different. I personally get really bored of pre-printed planners where every single week is the same. It's why planners never worked for me, but bullet journaling has worked for me for so long. I just love that every week can be different. I can try out different layouts and it never fails to keep things fun and fresh and exciting. And I love coming up with different layouts every week. So I just used some more stamps and stickers for my dates and weekly headers, slapped a weekly September 16th through 22nd header at the top, and that is it for weekly spread number three. So last but not least, I'm setting up a weekly spread for the final full week of September, the 23rd through the 29th. I'm doing a vertical style weekly here. So I have six equally sized columns. Each one is seven spaces wide, and I'm gonna have one for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then the final column will be shared for the weekend. 
I'm using my frame stickers as well as some more weekly headers from the Frog Tea Party monthly sticker kit to create my little weekly headers at the top of each column. And I also dug into my sticker collection for some number stickers and I decided that these light green numbers would pair perfectly with this theme. So I'm just sticking those in at the bottom of each frame. You can also see that for all of these weekly pages I'm setting up, I've kept them like functionally pretty simple in that they basically just have a box for each day to write down events coming up that day as well as my daily to-do lists. I didn't want to fuss around with any extra trackers or really like anything extra besides just the simple daily to-do lists. Now there is a chance that a day will come up where I just feel like I need more room than what I have on my weekly spread, especially for that previous spread with the smaller rows. It's very likely that one of those days I'm going to have a longer to-do list and I'll need more space. And if that happens, I will just create a separate daily page after all of these weekly spreads for any days where I feel like I need the extra room. If you want a little bit more insight into how I use daily pages and what that might look like, check out my last video from last week. It's titled how to set up your planner for the school year, but it's honestly a very useful video, even if you aren't a student. And it just kind of shows a simplified long-term monthly, weekly, and daily bullet journal setup. And it really, I think, digs into and explains daily pages. All right, so I've set up all of my weekly pages for September, and now comes the best part and that is creating my tabs. I'm using these pastel rainbow tab stickers for my sticker shop that make this so easy. I just stick it in on the edge of each page, fold it over, stick it on the other side, and you've got a tab. I love that these pastel rainbow ones actually match this theme perfectly. I also use the pastel rainbow washi stickers with this theme and yeah, it's just a very good color fit. So I put a tab on every page and I'm now just going to label each tab. And I absolutely love how this looks. Tabs are my new bullet journal obsession. I feel like I'm gonna do them every single month because it is just so satisfying having everything labeled and organized. Also, I don't think I ever mentioned like why I decided to do a frog tea party theme because I feel like it's one of the more random themes I've done, but I do have to thank my patrons who vote for my new sticker themes every single month. And the reason we did a frog tea party theme was actually because of a three-way tie in that month's theme poll. It tied between a frog theme, a tea party theme, and a wildflower theme. So we decided to just combine all themes together. It seemed like a slightly unhinged decision at the time, but man, I love how it turned out. And I loved setting up all of these spreads with the frog tea party theme stickers and printables. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me set up all of these bullet journal spreads today. And I'm really looking forward to September and to hopefully being a little bit more consistent with my journal next month. If you liked any of the stickers that I used today, they are all available in my sticker shop, planningwithk.com. The printables are all available for instant download under my $5 Patreon tier. And Patreon is also where you can join my monthly sticker delivery subscription. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe for new videos every single Saturday, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.